Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Sketchy Wednesdays. I mean, it just doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Yeah, I'm uploading and recording this video on Wednesday instead of the normal Sunday because of several things. If you were around during the Saturday stream last week, you know that that Saturday stream kind of had me shook. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of messed me up because it kind of forced me to rethink what I'm gonna be doing and what my main game is going to be for like the coming streams because let me tell you man uh, Dark Souls 3 yeah Dark Souls 3 happened uh, last Saturday so yeah that's why I kinda held off I wanted to kind of give myself time to uh, you know rethink what I'm gonna be doing not that it's like a major thing but still just to think about it and also there are some other things that I wanted to announce in terms of uh, scheduling this week because this week is kind of busy for me but yeah let's just get into it let's go ahead and talk about what's going to be happening starting with the big question Dark Souls 3 crossbow run so officially I'm saying it right now the Dark Souls 3 crossbow run is right now on indefinite hiatus indefinite hiatus basically means cancelled but not 100% uh, there is a very 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 tiny chance that I might continue it eventually when I like really feel like it and I really have nothing to play but I'm gonna be honest with you right now I have no intention of continuing that run let me explain why Dark Souls 3 in many ways is not different from the other games in terms of no the normal gameplay like normal g gameplay with a crossbow only it's completely fine. I mean, some enemies are challenging, but that was the same with the other games as well. There were easier and more difficult enemies. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Where it really kind of starts to fall apart is with the bosses. The main reason being is that a lot of bosses in Dark Souls 3, especially the early ones, uh, involve some kind of gimmick. Either the boss spawns minions, clones itself, it's surrounded by minions, you need to break chains on it to kill it or like rings or whatever. You know, there's like hella gimmicks and it's not always about, you know, actually fighting the boss. What I've noticed is that a lot of these, and this, I just realized this with the crossbow run, so at least it taught me something if nothing else. I realized that so many of the Dark Souls 3 bosses rely on pure DPS. Like, that's the only thing. Like, dodge the attacks and the goal is to output as much damage per second as you possibly can. I think that's the reason why, you know, quicker weapons are pretty good in Dark Souls if I remember correctly. Like, listen, the thing, Deacons of the Deep, what is it about? It's about killing the mob or cutting through the mob as fast as you can. What is the, what you call it? The, the mage dude, the Crystal Sage. What's the Crystal Sage about? Uh, inputting or putting out as much DPS as possible before he teleports. What's High Lord Volnir about? Outputting as much DPS as possible to break his rings. Like everything is just about how much damage you can dish out. And of course the main weakness of the crossbow is that it cannot dish out damage. It's extremely slow. It fires one shot and it deals okay damage since crossbows in Dark Souls 3 don't even have scaling and they cannot be infused either. So really the Deacons of the Deep was the prime example of this mechanic and how the crossbow kind of gameplay mechanic just doesn't fit into it. I mean the Deacons of the Deep, the main dude when he spawns, he gets healed and it's just a mess. Like it's almost impossible to output enough DPS to actually kill him. Uh, even with Henri and uh, what's his name, Horus or Sirius or whoever summoned, like it's just it's just not possible and it got to the point where I was extremely frustrated by the game. You know, I'm... Listen, am I the biggest fan of Dark Souls 3? Hell no. I'm not the... Like, I don't like the game as much as some of the other Souls games, but do I like it in general just to play it? Yeah, yeah. When I was playing this crossbow run, that's the first time I felt like really, really, really frustrated by Dark Souls 3. I know a lot of people feel that way just in general about Dark Souls 3, but this was the first time I experienced it. And, you know, I'm not one to have... Uh, a game kind of ruined for me because of a stupid challenge run like these challenge runs I do them for fun so basically how I judge it is if a challenge run stops becoming fun and it just becomes an incredible annoyance yeah it's just time to stop it so yeah putting it on indefinite hiatus maybe once I figure out some genius tactic which I'm probably not gonna 
I'll pick it up. I saw one dude, there is a dude online who has done a crossbow run of Dark Souls 3, but he had like very powerful crossbows. I think he farmed for large shards or probably did something like that, uh, which is probably what I would have to do, but it's just it's not worth it. Um, not worth it. It's just a game, you know. So what does that mean? That means that there will be a new main game on the channel, and that game is going to be Remnant from the Ashes. Yeah, Remnant from the Ashes is moving from the kind of sidelined slot to the main slot, which I'm going to be streaming twice a week. Listen, Remnant is hella fun. I'm enjoying the game. You guys seem to be enjoying the game. Like, it's the perfect type of clunky. I Again, I'm having a ton of fun with the gameplay. Uh, the first boss was kind of a mess, but really it just came down to figuring out what the game is about. Uh, which I hopefully I did at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the game. There's no other way to put it. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to play way more of it. So that's going to be my main game, which leaves open the one day, kind of the middle of the week slot for the stream. So I decided, since you guys seem to enjoy Saturday where I played uh, Street Fighter, that that Wednesday or Thursday or whatever, so the middle of the week slot is going to be the fighting game block uh, for right now. Maybe later down the line where like Surge 2 comes out in September I'll play that, but maybe by that time I'll finish Remnant. So yeah, the games are either gonna be more on Combat 11, Street Fighter 5, Tekken 7, or Smash or Sam Show. So these five games I can like rotate, I can play whichever one I'm feeling. So it's gonna be the fighting game block. Uh, hopefully you guys still stick around. I know not all of you like fighting games, but I feel like, you know, it will be just fun to just shoot shit and talk about stuff. So, yeah, that's what's going to be happening uh, in the middle of the week slot. But do let me know which one of these games you prefer. Uh, More on Combat 11 is definitely on top of the list. And I kind of want to learn Tekken 7 as well. Again, now that Season 3 is going to be coming out. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, like, not maybe, but definitely going to do some Smash as well. Because that's the one I think that most of you guys enjoy and you can join and shit. So yeah, that's going to be kind of the streaming schedule for now. Again, until like Remnant comes out or I come up with a different challenge run. Yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see. So yeah, that's going to be one thing. The second main topic for this update is going to be streaming schedule for this week. Basically, uh, Friday, Saturday, I'm going to be gone. Uh, each year at my work, there's this big event. It's like kind of like a sports day get together. I'm going. Uh, so I will be staying there Friday through Saturday and I'm coming back Sunday morning. So there will be no Saturday stream. Uh, most likely I will move the Saturday stream to Sunday, but it is going to be a shorter stream because, you know, <clears throat> Sunday I got work next day and all that. So yeah, that's going to be just it. Basic information like Friday um, and Saturday I'm going to be gone, but do follow me. Like I know most of you guys do, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can see what the hell I'm doing. I'm probably going to be drunk and then hung over the next morning. That's no other way to put it. So that's what's going to be happening. In terms of other things, I moved the stream from today, hence the reason you're seeing this video instead of a stream, to tomorrow. The reason I'm doing this is because if I'm going to be gone and if I'm going to be streaming on uh, Sunday instead of Saturday, it just kind of works out better with timing, you know. You don't have to like take one, two, three, like three, four days off from streaming. I had to count. Yes, I'm a retard. So yeah, uh, I decided to move it just because timing wise it's going to be better. But tomorrow there will be a normal stream of the fighting game block. So I think I'm most likely going to be playing some Mortal Kombat 11, because I haven't played, I haven't even played uh, Season 3 of Combat League. No, I played like a couple of matches, so yeah, let's do some more on Combat, why not? Anyways, that's going to be, I think, it. This update is pretty long already. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, you can follow, like, find my links below, Discord, Instagram, whatever. Thanks for watching, and I really hope to see you tomorrow on the stream. So until then, guys, peace out, and goodbye. <laughs>